Hello, welcome to the channel. Um, I wanted to do a quick video unboxing and overview of the new EVGA Supernova G3 1000 watt power supply that I got a couple weeks ago. A quick disclaimer, um, I don't have any technical or electrical knowledge or even equipment to actually test out power supply units. Um, so I would refer you to websites like Johnny Guru in order to get a full technical rundown and an in-depth review of this power supply or any virtually any other power supply on the market. Um, that's a really great website and he goes you know into some great depth. Um, he actually takes apart power supplies and does a lot of measurements. So if you want to do uh, if you want to know uh, the ins and outs of this unit or any other unit on the market, I highly recommend you to go check out johnnyguru.com. What I will do is a quick unboxing and physical overview of the unit, as well as a, a quick comparison between it and the 750 watt G2 um, that I'm that it's replacing. Um, last but not least, I wanted to do a quick um, dive into the reasoning behind why I switched out. And so, yeah, that's enough of that. Let's get on with the show. So. To start with, I just want to kind of take a quick look at um, what EVGA says about the power supply. Um, so this is a you know their G2, their Supernova lineup is like their their top of the top of the range line. Um, they do uh, the G2, the Platinum, which is the P2, and I think that yeah they've got a Titanium as well. But anyway, so the G3 is brand new. Um, it's replacing the the G2 lineup, but um, so this is a gold rated power supply. Um, it's fully modular. Um, it provides up to 83.3 amps and 999.6 watts on the 12 volt rail. It has 100% Japanese capacitors. Um, it provides up to 1000 watts at 50 degrees Celsius. It has an eco intelligent thermal control system. It features an ultra quiet, high dynamic bearing 130 millimeter fan. EJ always does a nice job um, with its box and the velvety bag that encases its PSUs. Cables are all black, and but they're not individually sleeved. They're bundled together in a, in a like a big stretchy paracord type sleeve. Um, this is pretty nice as far as what uh, comes in, you know, standard with uh, the unit. But if you have any sort of if your case is tight, you don't have a lot of back of the motherboard space. Um, these big bundled sleeves can be a little bit of a problem as far as getting the back of your case closed, especially with that 24 pin uh, motherboard cable. So anyway, this is a uh, pretty good quality. And for me, I had uh, previously bought uh, EVGA's individually sleeved cable kit. And it's, uh, I'm happy to say that the pinouts across the G2 and G3 lineup are the same. So. Um, all the cables that EVG has released for their G2 lineup will actually work with this G3 lineup. And it's, it indicates that on its website, but um, I also made a call to their customer service department and they confirmed this is the case. So, and I've been running this power supply for a few weeks now using the um, individually sleeved cables that I bought for my G2 and, you know, it, it works fine. So just so you guys know that. Um, the unit itself is much smaller than the G2 generation, as you can see. It's quite a bit shorter than the 750 watt. You know, even though this is a you know, 1,000 watt power supply, so this is pretty good news for anybody building in smaller form factors. Um, and you still need a lot of juice. So if you're doing a micro ATX, you know, X99 or a micro ATX SLI Crossfire, um, or even a mini ITX X99, you know, this is a this is a great option. So you'll have, you know. Um, a 1000 watt gold rated power supply and it doesn't take up a ton of space. So as you can see on the front or on the fan grill, so they've gone away from that uh, flat stamped grill and added a, a screwed in inset piece, but the overall shape of the grill is pretty much the same. Um, it doesn't seem to be, um, you know, any less restrictive, but I'm not really sure if that makes an impact on such a highly efficient power supply. And also you can see on the fans, they have these little nubbins. I'm not really sure what they do, but um, that has an echo switch on the back where you know you can operate fanless until it reaches a certain temperature threshold. 
Um, so yeah, plug layout remains pretty much identical with the older generation G2s, um, but this 1000 watt has an extra VGA over my 750 watt unit. But overall, this provides plenty of options for just about anything you could want to throw at a consumer grade system. Well, last but not least, um, so some of the reasoning behind switching from a 750 to a 1000 watt. So um, I took a look at Outer Vision Power Supply Calculator, which is a website uh, you can find that will, uh, you can enter in pretty much all the settings, all the um, devices and components that you have um, on your PC, and it will give you a maximum power draw for your system. So I was interested to see what the difference in maximum power draw would be between my old Z97 uh, and the new X99. So um, this, this website allows you to factor in over voltage of the CPU and GPU. So any voltage that you add in order to uh, get stable overclocks, it's going to factor that in as well. So um, I don't know. I'm just assuming that these calculations are accurate. I don't have any way to measure you know, how much my system is actually drawing from the wall. But I was pretty shocked to see what my max power draw looks like, um, even when adding voltage, or excuse me, especially when adding voltage to my 980 Ti. Even in the Z97 system with the 4790K overclocked to 4.7 and 1.3 volts was drawing quite a bit of power, you know, at least at maximum. So yeah, these are peak numbers and it's unlikely to encounter a scenario where all of your components are going to be drawing uh, their maximum wattage at the same time. But so nevertheless, this prompted me to think about upping the max wattage of my PSU uh, because I still want to, I want to be able to overclock the 6900K and the 980 Ti. And I don't want to, you know, have any stability issues or, you know, crashes or any other chance of uh, frying those, you know, pretty expensive pieces of hardware. So that's um, a pretty interesting and helpful website, and it provides a lot of information, um, more more so than the sort of general recommendations that you'll get on P PC Park Picker. You know, as you're building out a system, PC Park Picker will give you um, a recommendation for for wattages and what uh, kind of the minimum that you can get away with as far as PSUs. So I think that's it for this video. So thanks for watching uh, this quick unboxing and overview of the EVGA Supernova G3 1000 watt PSU. See you next time.